aviation is one of the few industries that have a high number of hazards but at the same time is considered to be low risk. As a result, it remains one of the safest modes of transportation in the world. Key to the industry's success is its emphasis on safety and adherence to strict protocols. For passengers, one of the obvious features of aviation safety is the pre-flight safety briefing prior to every flight. Aviation regulations dictate that airlines need to brief their passengers prior to every flight. Passengers are, however, not always receptive of these briefings. Many passengers find these briefings boring and repetitious. Airlines need to bear some responsibility, however, as passengers commonly note that lack of flight attendants' interest in the briefing, as well as perceived quality of information presented, adversely affects their ability to pay attention. Some airlines are trying to overcome this problem by being creative in the way they market this information. Humour, topical themes as well as celebrities are some of the techniques employed by airlines to overcome this problem. A byproduct of these techniques is their effect on mood. Mood has been linked with performance, where positive mood improves performance. The aim of this research was twofold. First, test the effectiveness of various marketing techniques such as humour and use of celebrity in influencing individuals' recall of key safety messages. Second, investigate how these different styles of safety briefings influence individuals' mood. 61 participants completed the study and the results revealed recall of key safety messages was superior when a celebrity was involved in the briefing, followed by the use of humour and not surprising, the least effective method was without either of the two. Alarmingly, however, recall of key safety messages overall was poor. In the best condition, only half of the messages were recalled. Recall performance degraded over time, decreasing by an average of 4% over a two hour period. The humorous briefing was the most effective briefing to improve participants' mood. However, two hours post-briefing, mood was back to its normal baseline state. This research was conducted by Brett Molesworth, a human factors and aviation safety researcher at UNSW Aviation. A full write-up of this paper can be found in the International Journal of Aviation Psychology.